Uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, yesterday, uh, Ross talk, talking about the logistic regression. Actually, the model is very similar to this one, just a different formula. So the underlying model uh, from the Wallace paper is looks like this. So on your uh, left-hand side, this one is a multinomial logistic regression link function. That is a matrix. Uh, G is the gene, A is amino acid. So given the amino acid, like leucine, if leucine has a six amino acid codon, so that this will be the 5,000 by six matrix. Okay, so you count how many, uh, uh, for each gene you count the proportion, count the, the six codon. So it's count on the, your left hand side. And the, on the right hand side is the mutation parameter plus some delta t elongation times the phi is the uh, expected uh, uh, production rate. So basically, just three steps to formula this uh, uh, model. One is for C, G, A is a codon count. You can observe from the uh, sequence data that is multinomial distribution linked with the uh, parameter mutation and the elongation rate. And I have some underlying distribution for these parameters. So that's the log normal distribution you see from the uh, previous talk, the same price here. In statistics, we call this a uh, directed uh, acyclic graph. They show you this, uh, in the gray solid circle uh, is the data you observe, I can observe. C is the codon count, V is the gene expression from microarray or uh, any alpha matrix uh, data. And the gray, uh, Dash line red circle is a parameter I need to uh, estimate. And the solid circle on the top is the prior. So this one from the uh, basic Bayesian uh, or mixture model. And based on this structure, I called it in, uh, in R. And eventually we will expand this model to more complex model or different species, but this is the uh, basic uh, structure of the uh, ribosome overhead cost model. So there's three steps to form the MCMC uh, algorithm. I will skip this uh, detail, but basically it's the um, independent chain multiple testing and keep sample and the random work multiple testing sampling for different uh, level of the uh, parameters. So it's very similar to the uh, last talk yesterday, just different structure. So there's a uh, R package called CUB fits, cup fits. There's still in the, in the development and you can get that from the GitHub. This package depends on the VGAM vectorized uh, generalized uh, additive model. This one can give you the multinomial distribution, uh, multinomial logistic regression. So based on this one, you can get the uh, fit for uh, not just the logistic regression. You can have six codon, four codon, and they can give you the parameter estimation. And I use the SEQINR to uh, read in the first top format. And I use the parallel and the PVD MPI to uh, Paralyze the code. So you're doing this completely within R. You're, you're writing your own sampler in the sense that you have a, you have a likelihood function that you're going to explore the space and you're going to have it jump when you think you explored that space and you're getting closer to, to an optimum. Right. Yes, actually not easy. <laughs> uh, okay, this is from the yesterday last slide. The the this is a logistic regression. Only has two categories, zero and one. So you have the your product in the right hand side is the only y is equal to zero or one. But for six codon amino acid, there's the five turn product together. But 
um, it, it, we assume uh, here I had uh, some assumption. I assume that amino acid is independent. So actually I can parallelize the, the red line that's component. So by independent of amino acid, there's 20 amino acid. So I can parallelize that calculation of likelihood with the VGM uh, uh, fit. So I parallelize in 20 cores, say, well, I have 20 cores, so 20 cores, each one do the uh, VGM to fit the mod, uh, model. And let's package calculate the likelihood. So in this one, I parallelize in this component. Okay. And you, you, I can s try the MCFPI or PBDFPI or text pool, depending on uh, the, how many core I have or how many machine I have. If I have a single share memory machine, I use the MCFPI. If I like go to the Amazon, I can allocate four machine with two cores in each node, then I can use the text pool or PBDFPI to uh, run my program. So in, in the uh, that package has uh, some demo very quickly to fit the uh, multinomial log logistic regression. So the first one will give you the can give you a very sim very quick plot for the uh, small 100 genes and three amino acid. They can show you the plot some looks like this. Okay. And I also have uh, the demo like for the very tiny data set to run the MCMC and very quickly to get the uh, fit food for the very tiny data set. Uh, I can show you the the example. This is the, probably not the accurate as the slide, but uh, this one will give you the uh, basic multinomial logistic regression fit for three amino acid and fit give you the curve, how that uh, the pattern of the expression in the uh, X axis and the proportion of the codon in the Y axis. So basically the demo can do something like this. And well, okay, this is very short. Uh, probably has some problem, but basically I show you 20 iteration of I mean, uh, MCMC for that 100 gene and three amino acid, and they can run through this program. If you have a large machine and larger data set, you can go through this step. Okay, for, for the la larger run, if, so for example, if I have 5,000 gene and 20 amino acid, it could take uh, probably several days to run the uh, MCMC. So, I build up the uh, workflow and in, in the package, so you can basically just co copy this code, and if not on the machine, like the Amazon or the bigger shared memory machine, and just replace the data set, and they will give you the, basically the model fit and the, the tons of plot. So 
you don't need to worry about the the detail. Okay. Okay, this this good. So I at the end will show you some uh, performance between these three different uh, parallelization. One is text pool is much better than the uh, MC apply. So uh, here text pool require one more uh, course to control the uh, job. So that is the only uh, drawback. But consider the performance gain is worse. And PBDL apply is much similar to the uh, MC apply with the pre scheduling. So that means for like you c I might have the six amino codon like losing and adrenaline in the same core. They can definitely make the computation much, much longer. So you can see the degradation when I use the A cores. But overall is uh, uh the task pool and the PVD apply is uh better than the MCL apply. And this is the uh performance of this package. So if you have the uh, question about the the computing or detail, I can show you here. Yeah. Any yeah, any question? Um, good question. I will suggest find, uh, use the second uh, workflow and replace the uh, data set. And if you, lay, you have a 30,000 gene, it definitely take uh, very long to run. And this is the, actually is the, the other challenge for parallelization. In in this diagram, I only paralyze the amino acid. So, if you have thirty thousand genes, they, I might consider to paralyze in the genes level, and they can speed up the gene, uh, speed up the computing much faster. But they require to redesign the data structure and the function. Yeah. Uh, yes, some of the um, um, the question is if this model per, uh, fit for most of the uh, species. I I doubt that, but <laughs> you might have some uh, evidence from the data set you want to look at first. Like here, if you have the, for example, in the east have 5,000 gene, on the top is the distribution of the synchronous codon for the leucine and the adrenaline. It's pretty, not a uh, uniform distribution. They favor some particular codon like AGA in the adrenaline. And this suggests some codon usage bias. But if you look at you in a different species, uh, I'm not sure, but in the East, uh, if we look at the top 10% of expression gene, the distribution is totally different from the overall, and even favor the uh, HGA to 70%. That means that this is the evidence of the expression. Uh, codon usage is correlated with the expression. So this you probably you want to look at this kind of evidence first. And if there's a strong correlation with the expression and the codon usage, then it's probably very worse to run the code. Yeah. <laughs>